even had to walk through almost waist deep water in his home just to give you a sense of how bad the situation was there. Let's go to our Andres Fuentes live tonight or this morning rather I should say in Kenner. Yes, we're here at University City. I'm sorry. I'm trying to flag down someone I believe would like come on through if you would like to. I hope he hears me. I would love to talk to somebody live on TV at this hour. But look, this is the situation that we're seeing here at University City. Much like David Jones, things have not improved. This is along Loyola Avenue, uh, just out front of the Sam's Club. I, Evan, if you want to just creep on through because I don't want you to go too, too, too deep. Follow me as I go through this water. I just don't know how deep it is. And then if you remember from the last live shot I did, I also don't know what exactly I'm standing in. It might look like ordinary water, but it does smell. And that is the issue. I know there have been sewage issues, drainage issues here in Jefferson Parish in particular. Uh, speaking with Parish President Cynthia Lee Shane, she was telling us that uh, because of the amount of water that we had last week and the amount of water that was dumped on us today, uh, there's issues with that rainwater seeping into sewage lines and actually backing things up. So a lot of issues going on there with the sewage. They're asking people to conserve water. Don't flush toilets if you don't have to. Don't use faucets and, and uh, other things if you don't have to, but we're seeing still, even though water is very high here along Loyola Avenue, trucks just trying to make their way through. It looks like we got some people over here. Evan, if you want to turn back around, gentlemen, we are live on TV. So as much as the frustrations you might want to air out, let's lessen <laughs> on the language. You can't, you can't make it home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it home. Tell me where exactly you're trying to go right now. The Chateau Estates. We went to go check on some properties. We're trying to get home, but everywhere is flooded. Flooded. Uh, exactly what intersection. I live in the area, so I'm Every quite intersection familiar. you try to go, you ain't going to be able to make it home. And for people who aren't familiar, Chateau Estates, it hugs some canals, especially yeah. along Vintage, also near the West Esplanade Canal, which also so flooded you out. Can't, you can't go by West Esplanade, especially if you're trying to go on the court. Uh, if you're trying to go to the intersection of West Esplanade and Loyola, I mean, we're in a big truck, as you can see. We can't make it through. Sure. Evan, why don't you show this truck because it is tricked out. You get the you get the nice wheels going and everything. It's extremely high, and if we can't make it through, it's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah. Ida, was it like this for Hurricane Ida? I know Kenner was really hit. No, Ida, we didn't have we didn't have floods like this in Kenner. Um, I think what, if my understanding is they shut down the Kenner pumps. We just came from New Orleans. New Orleans, no flooding at all. I don't understand. I never seen Kenner this flooded in my life. For sure, for sure. Thank you so much, no sir. Y'all stay dry. <laughs> Y'all take care. Well, look, that's the situation here. You hear, hearing from that gentleman, you know, things are pretty bad here. We're questioning when we'll see this water drain, when we have more information from parish officials, city officials. We'll be updating you on air and online. But for now, we're putting live here along Loyola, Andres Fuentes, Vox 8, Local First.